more serious hazard involves the handling of oxygen cylinders. While oxygen is not flammable, all substances need oxygen to burn, and oxygen accelerates fire. The fire triangle consists of heat, fuel, and oxygen. Problems associated with fire and emergency oxygen delivery devices are rare. Like handling scuba cylinders, the following recommendations will minimize the risks associated with handling oxygen cylinders and emergency oxygen delivery equipment. Don't allow oil, grease, or other contaminants to come in contact with oxygen cylinders and equipment. Oxygen cylinders should not be exposed to temperatures over 125 degrees Fahrenheit or 52 degrees Celsius. Avoid leaving your oxygen cylinders in your vehicle trunk for extended periods. Extinguish all smoking materials and open flame around oxygen equipment. Provide adequate ventilation when providing or using oxygen. Only use equipment intended for use with oxygen. Do not adapt scuba equipment for use with oxygen. Make sure that oxygen-compatible washers and other materials are used. Carry portable oxygen cylinders with two hands, and when transporting them in a car, secure and block cylinders to prevent them from rolling. Cylinders should be lying on their side unless supported to prevent falling and valve damage. Make sure your cylinders are appropriately labeled for oxygen use and that they are within the required hydrostatic test date. Oxygen equipment fittings should be finger tight. Do not use a wrench. In order to get your oxygen cylinders filled, you may need to present the oxygen distributor, your DAN oxygen provider card, or a prescription. In many areas, oxygen is a prescription drug and it may be difficult to obtain oxygen for your emergency oxygen cylinder. Ask your DAN instructor or contact DAN for information on oxygen filling requirements.